Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing, here with Nathan Dale. Um, finally got a chance to meet up with you since you've been at the gym. How's the hand? That's, that's improving, I mean, it's still painful, but it is getting there. It's just, it's just a bummer. It's just it's one of the things that's Come at the wrong time, really. You sort of went and won the World Youth title, and then yeah. unfortunately it's sort of come about. But, yeah. like you say, it's healing up. Um, going on from there, you're going to be looking at going back in big fights. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it, it came at the wrong time. I, I was, my, the balls were rolling and I was looking at big things at that sort of time. But it was one of them things what me and Graham, we had to sit down and we said, it's got to be done because the fight's going to get harder and I can't keep winning them with one hand or one and a half hands. It can't, that's not, not the way it's going to be. So we decided we got in contact with um, Mike Hayton. He's now, he's now done the operation and to be fair, looking he was, he was he was happy with it, so we're looking at big things in 2016 now. Um, the division, the division that you're going to be boxing in is hotly contended at the minute. There's fights all over the place happening. Um, one that's been matched just recently is uh, Sam Eggington and Frank Gavin. Yeah. Is, that, is that two people that you'd be interested in getting in and sharing the ring with? Yeah, I mean for sure, but. My weight is like welterweight. I mean, to be, if the welterweight, if that come about, I would say no. I don't know, but like welterweight is where I want to be for now. So we'll see what happens. A stable mate of yours is now going on and fighting in a world title eliminator, Liam Walsh. Um, on that same bill, you've got Andy Lee and Billy Joe Saunders. First time two travellers have fought for a world title. How do you see that going? Well, like, oh, like I said earlier, I've got I've got money going on um, Billy Joe, so. <laughs> I'm going for Billy Joe, me, he's going to win me some money, I hope. You've been over to MGM and trained over there. Yeah, I've been Was Billy Joe over there? And you, did you get a chance of meeting him over there no. at all? No, when he was over there, I didn't go in the end because um, I hurt my hand. Your hand. Uh, so. I hurt my hand, so I pulled out of the training camp there, which was a bummer because that would have been a great experience to go mingle with them top, them top lads. It's nice, but I'm sure there'd be other opportunities and for, me, for me to go over there. So now we're looking forward to September, really, for the lad, for yeah. your training partners. It's a local show. That's um, yeah. Will you be there? Hundred uh, percent. You know, I've got to support the lads. I mean, they support me. I support them. It's the first time I've been in the gym today in about six weeks, and I mean, the gym's buzzing. I mean, they're really cracking on putting the work in. So it's nice. It's nice to see the lads putting the work in, and that's all going to prevail on uh, um, the 18th. And uh, just a little message out there for the fans. Don't forget you. You're, you're, still, you're still there, and uh, don't feel sort of that you can't come up and say hello on the night that's and it. speak to you. And that's it. That's it. We're, I mean, I'm there. I mean, I'm still, I'm, I'm still boxing. I'm still training. Done a little bit. Nothing. That's what it is. But I'm still at home. Done a little bit. But like I say, I'm, don't forget about me. I'm going to be, I'm going to be big things soon. Well, thank you very much. Thank and, you. Uh, I'll catch you on the night. Yes, we'll do.